everyone. Uh, hopefully you'll find this informative. Feel free to ask questions as we go through. Um, what I've tried to do is put together as much as I could overnight. Uh, this was not something that was pre-planned. They just happened to ask me yesterday if we could put something together. So uh, bear with me. So uh, first off, a little history. The Star Tribune um, is over 140 years old. And what you see there is one of the buildings. That's our heritage facility. Uh, we're located in Minneapolis, Minnesota, a uh, newspaper. Um, we have a circulation of over 500,000 customers on Sundays, more than 200,000 daily. Um, and we have six locations, actually. We have our heritage facility here. Um, there's our Portland facility right there, uh, in front of the Minneapolis uh, Metrodome. And uh, then we have satellite offices. Um, we've got one in Woodbury, Minnesota, one in Burnsville. We've got people at the state capitol, and then we also have um, some people in Washington, D.C. So uh, how that breaks down people-wise, uh, in our Portland facility, the white one, we've got about 650 units there. In our heritage facility, we have 300 there. Washington, D.C., we have three. Uh, the state capitol, we have 10. Woodbury, a dozen, and Burnsville, a dozen. So it's uh, spread out quite a bit. This is a picture of our old Avaya PDX. Okay. Uh, so on the left, you've got the six uh, Viking refrigerator-sized cabinets. In the center is actually one of those cabinets opened up. And then the lovely copper gold mine on the wall behind it. Um, so this, this PDX is over 20 years old. Okay. It's a G3R, G3SI. Uh, at one point, it serviced uh, almost 3,000 extensions, 3,000 people. Um, sad to say, the Star Tribune has shrunk over the last couple of years. Uh, the newspaper industry has taken a hit, and uh, we're now down to right around 1,000 employees. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? There are some other systems that feed into this PBX. We've got uh, speech attendant, which is a nuanced product. We've got audits that did our voicemail. We've got uh, a, a system from Noble that did uh, call center IVR, um, uh, call recording, and the dialing. We had our 911 system from AMCOM, and then we had a circulation management system uh, from Voiceport. Uh, all said and done, uh, the annual maintenance on all of those systems I just rattled off was almost $200,000, 188K a year to be exact. Okay? That number is going to come into play later, which is why I'm sharing it now. And you'll kind of go, whoa, all right? So uh, with that, we had a meltdown. This is a picture of one of the boards that spontaneously melted down, started to smoke, filled up the, uh, the fifth floor of the Portland building where the PBX was located, and uh, actually took the PBX down. Uh, we had to fail it over to the redundant uh, backup in the cabinets. Uh, got it back up, but this is kind of what prompted us to really get moving on a new PBX. Um, I had done some preliminary work previously, uh, as had been requested for the past five or six years at Star Tribune, and every year it was kind of, oh, let's put it off. Can we wait? Can we wait? And the answer was, yeah, we could. You know, it's still working. It's not broken. Let's uh, let's just move on. You know, with money being tight, and, and you got to make the best strategic so we looked at, uh, I personally looked at Cisco, Avaya, and Shortel. And um, Shortel was the cheapest. They had replaced everything and put that in place. Would have been about $650,000. Okay? Avaya, the incumbent, was about $800,000. Cisco was $1.1 million. Um, all of which, by management, went, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but we had some strategic considerations there, too. Our solution had to be cost effective. It had to be portable, because one of the things that we're faced with is, uh, with our location, we're right in front of the Minneapolis, uh, in front of the Metrodome. And we own, we actually own five blocks in front of the Metrodome. And <clears throat> I don't know if anybody follows the Minnesota Vikings at all, but they've got the whole process of, <coughs> we want a new stadium. And so there's the possibility that the Star Tribune properties will be bought and turned into part of the Vikings play area. And so it had to be portable. Uh, it had to be manageable. Everything right now on the old PBX was, you know, man line driven, 
not real GUI interface there. You've got some call reporting information through GUI, but other than that, actually getting in and seeing you know, the different vectors in the Avaya was all <coughs> command line. Uh, it had to integrate with our existing solutions, so it had to you know, play with the circulation management IVR. We had to be able to use a voice recorder with it uh, for our call centers because they're required to uh, record calls uh, when they're taking credit card information for payments, uh, that type of thing. Uh, it had to be redundant. Okay? Nobody likes their phone system to go down. And uh, you know, we always thought prior to that little meltdown that eh, it wouldn't be a big deal. Everybody's got a cell phone. We were wrong. It, it, it mattered. Um, customers called you know, the next day and were wondering what happened, what went on. And, and uh, it turns out we are a little more reliable on the phone system than we thought. And then finally, the end of use, or the ease of use for the end user. Um, everybody deals with uh, customers and, and end users who some know enough to be dangerous, and others are greener than the grass outside the middle side. Um, we have the full gamut. So uh, we had to make sure whatever we were doing was going to work for everybody. Uh, I, 